Tyler, what's up, dude? Not much. So Tyler came to town and we were going to talk some audio, but Tyler also, you know, builds computers here and there. Yep. Mostly for personal use. I don't know, you thought about starting a computer building business? No, not yet. No. <laughs> Unless you guys like my fantastic mm. cable management, which you'll see. <clears throat> Wonderful. I'm coughing with the coffee. Yeah. So we haven't done a build in a little while and we decided to uh, do something that's very practical for you guys because I think that a lot of people like practicality these days. Um, and also, you know, with the holidays coming up, everyone needs a new computer. Maybe your uncle, your aunt, your mom, your cousin, you need a new computer. Who, who knows? We went on to eBay and looked for used parts to see if we could do a little better that way. And I think we did a pretty damn good job. And uh, this is like 90% eBay and a couple pieces are new. Like, you know, this is new because it's so freaking inexpensive and all that. Uh, this is new because it's so inexpensive. You know, like... Buying a secondhand one of these is like the same price after right. shipping, so whatever. Anyway, well, we uh, budgeted around 500 to 550, and here's what we have. The main thing with a computer and what you want to dump almost all of your money into is the GPU. Yeah. Um, Start off with that one because that's that's more important than the motherboard or the or the uh, the CPU. I, I should I should say this is primarily a starter gaming rig, but yeah, you know you could modify a few things. You know, leave this out and swap out an APU in here, and then have one for your mom or uncle or whatever. Anyway, yeah, we went AMD with this route. Um, we wanted to originally go 290X, but the only one we could find that would fit a price bracket was one with the stock heat sink, yes. and they're notoriously terrible. You no, that's where like all the jokes come from online. I, I see way too... Like, every time anyone mentions AMD, they're like, oh, I didn't know you needed a house heater. Yeah. It's like, well, okay, no one buys the stock cooler. I don't know anybody out there who has an NVIDIA car with the stock cooler either. It's just stupid. Yeah. But AMD seems to be the butt of all the jokes with the stock cooler, so we just ruled that out. Right. You know. So we went with a one tier lower. Instead of a 290X, we got a 290. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the DirectCU 2 cooler. It's quiet. It, you can overclock it. Yeah. Uh, we got this uh, for 220 and 1130 for shipping. Now the the it was about 240 for the um, for the fancy you know 290X. And if you really wanted to do that and you don't mind the extra noise and the heat, I mean, it, okay, they're designed within specification. They get hot. They're not as overclockable. But it is faster. Right. I mean, you, the 290A, maybe with a lot of overclocking with this car, it'll be close to a 290X. But if you don't mind the extra noise, then whatever. Yeah, if you don't I mean, care, really, it's, it's, they're just noisy. Yeah, if you don't care, get the fast one, obviously. Yeah. Um, and right, then we else? got the Athlon X4 uh, 860K. Yeah, so the, the, eight, the 860K, now here's the story with this one. It's, it's slightly overclockable. It's actually decently overclockable. And at first I was looking at, uh, you know, uh, 1366 motherboards like the X58 uh, mm -hmm. uh, Intel stuff because I love those CPUs. I freaking, that was one of, one of my best experiences with, with, with those CPUs and the triple channel memory and all that stuff. But you actually get maybe 1% to 2% more performance with this AMD compared to those. And you can get a, a newer platform. Modern, yeah, modern motherboard, more new. Yeah, and the X58 are still really expensive. They're like, you know, 100 to 150 for yeah. a motherboard. So I was like, you know what, with that motherboard, even if I can find a faster Intel CPU, the motherboard's gonna put us way over budget. So yeah, here it is. It's the uh, F2A78MD3H. And uh, for the money, this one was like, what, 40, 50 bucks? That was 47.99 and free shipping. Yeah, so forty-seven ninety-nine. Now here's what you get with this one: you get like um, all solid-state capacitors, you get high-quality MOSFETs. It's, this is their uh, you know ultra durable series, so they've done everything from like giving you the the glass, what is it, the glass lattice or whatever? I don't forget what they got. Glass fabric PCB to help with humidity if you live in freaking Miami, Taiwan, Singapore, wherever it gets like humid. Yeah, you know that that'll be decent uh, if you're gaming in the woods. The thing I like about it is you got a lot of options. Um, you know you can run. Uh, crossfire on this if you wanted to and also uh, you have onboard USB 3 headers yep so That's pretty cool yeah and then the CPU uh, I believe that was used or refurbished that on the board and the CPU was also used and that was uh, 69.95 used uh, free shipping talk about what, we, what we're cooling it with yeah the stock you, key sink is awful so we you can get away with it I mean you can you I mean if you're not overclocking you can get away with it but it's ugly it's loud it it runs hot yeah so we spent what 20 bucks or something 30 30 even and that was brand new. That was that. Yeah, this is brand new. Now Free there's shipping. A, yeah, there's a few other options. People are gonna jump in the comments, and I'll stop them right now from doing that because yes, I know that the Hyper Two One Two Evo is around the same price, and it's also really good. If you can find it for thirty bucks free shipping, I'd probably recommend it over this. But uh, this one, you know, it does you, you're, you're not decent cooling, job. A, a, you know, a twenty um, twenty eleven socket, so you don't really need too much. This is yeah. just fine. It's also the case is a deep cool Tesseract. 
I think no. so. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, well, I guess we'll talk about the power supply. That's, I'll, I'll stick on since we've we got two deep cool products here. No one sponsored this video. No. Or you sponsored yeah, most of it with I, eBay. Yeah. We're, we're going to give this thing away, too, so keep watching. So that case was uh, on eBay uh, from Newegg, $35.99 shipped. Free yeah. shipping. So <clears throat> with a case, it's like $35.99. You don't expect much. But you get it, and you're like, huh, it's not bad. The back has room for cable management because the side panel is, you know, uh, there's a, there's an indentation or a, a boat or it's, it's I forgot what the uh, stamped I don't know yeah, what it is stamped. the front panel has I mean the side panel over here it's got a window that's pretty cool um, there's dust filters everywhere there's dust filters on the bottom where your uh, you know the, your your power supply is gonna go there's dust filters up here there's room for a you know a, a 240 radiator right up here on top and the dust filters are unfortunately they're on the inside but I mean a case like this they're not gonna put them on the outside it's just it's thirty five dollars with shipping you yeah. can't it's f for the money this is Phenomenal. There's a lot of features on this case that some that cost double that don't have. It so. Rolled edges down here, yep. uh, powder coated on the inside. Yep. So I mean, we did a review on this, but I, actually doing a, a full build in this, I like it even more than I liked it when we did the review video. So yeah, I don't really have many complaints. It's got spots for you know two and a half, three and a half inch drives. Uh, the fans are slightly loud, so I might replace those. But you'd probably end up spending more money replacing the fans than you would on the case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Power supply that was brand new because. It, Buying used power supply is a little shady. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, 4343 free shipping uh, on eBay. And uh, yeah, this is a 500 watt uh, plus with this uh, power supply. It's uh, uh, 80 plus certified. Doesn't say, it's probably bronze. Might be just 80 plus. Yeah, just 80 plus, yeah. Yep. 80 plus certified. It has power. It has enough for the system. It works. Yeah, and you want to make sure you get decent power. That's why we didn't, like you said, just didn't buy used um, power supplies. They don't last as long as a lot of other components. I mean, I wouldn't be using one for five or six years, so I wouldn't buy one that's been used for a couple of years yeah. at all. You don't know what the, well, you don't know what it's been through. What if it was what if it was a smoking power supply and now it's got cancer and you just bought a cancer power supply. You don't want to buy a cancer power supply. You do not. And the last thing I Logan had one job, right? And that was to get the I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> one job and he messed it up. I so, thought I bought the RAM and I didn't buy the RAM. Yep. Yeah, so we went to go build everything and we're like, oh we don't have RAM. I think I was on eBay looking for RAM, and I think I clicked on buy it now, but what I bought was a cake or something. Yeah, so uh, we, this is not know. the RAM. Uh, oh, I know what I bought. I bought more bracers. We threw in some Fury X, uh, but you can get some, I think, what was it, 30 bucks? Or 30, 40 it was like, bucks? Uh, 35 to 40 bucks, you can get uh, 8 gigabytes of memory, and the thing here with this is it's a dual channel uh, uh, board. So you can buy a single stick, but you won't be taking advantage of the dual channel. So I would rather buy two four gigabyte sticks than one eight gigabyte stick. Unless you're planning on buying one eight gigabyte stick now, and as soon as you get paid, buy another eight gigabyte stick and have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Oh yeah, last but not least, I threw in uh, a hard drive that we had on the shelf here. So you're getting eBay, stuff that I was gonna eBay. It's mm -hmm. a 500 uh, gigabyte Seagate hard drive, uh, Seagate Barracuda. And it's just a standard hard drive. It's not an SSD because you know it's in the price right. range. But we also factored that in. I mean, you can get those for like 30 something bucks. We already get one. He already had one. I was going to waste my money on it, but they're 30 bucks on, on eBay for a 500 gig. Yeah. Now, the thing about this is that I haven't used um, a regular hard drive in a long time. So installing the OS on that and booting into it, I'm like, what's wrong with the computer? Oh, it's a mechanical yeah. hard drive. But once you get into games and start playing, the only thing you're really going to notice uh, slowing down is the load times. And if you have like load between levels or sometimes in Skyrim when you're. Uh, I guess like you're going over a hill and it's loading a new area, it'll stuff will pop in slower, and you'll have or you'll have a stutter. Uh, so that's something you do experience with a regular hard drive, but only in select games and mainly only for loading stuff. So when you're actually playing the games, it's totally fine. And a lot of people ask about operating systems, but I usually don't put an operating system on us on these things because it's up to you guys. And everyone's like, you got to include the cursor, and mouse, and the keyboard, and and the operating system, obviously, well, no, this has Linux Mint on it. So we threw Linux Mint on here. Uh, I've been wrestling with the drivers a bit because that's what you do when you install brand new versions of Linux Mint. So NVIDIA drivers were a bit easier. The AMD drivers have been a bit of the pain in the ass, but we'll get them uh, up and running. And we'll probably make a tutorial showing you guys how to uh, correctly install your GPU drivers because it's kind of... Uh, it's not like Windows where you just double click something. It's For some people it's easy to like, oh yeah, like Windows like, dude, it's easy. Just sit down to the command line and type these 12 uh, weird things. And I'm like, okay, well I don't have time right now, but I'll do it later on the night. So that's what I'm gonna do. Pretty fast for 500-ish 
it it's pretty beastly. Uh, yeah, I mean the 290 yeah. is gonna, like I said. Yeah, dump all your money to the, the GPU. That's what actually matters. Um, everything else is to get it running, more or less. If you want an easier time with Linux, I think the NVIDIA cards. I used to they used to be the ones that were the the problem with Linux. I mean, you can get the open source drivers, but you really need to take full advantage. You really need AMD's proprietary software. Uh, on the NVIDIA side, it's easier for me to install it. I'm not sure about you guys out there, but I have a much easier time installing the NVIDIA drivers. Um, so if you get a 970 and a Linux machine, maybe uh, you know a little easier. For the mouse, they recommend one of these here. Uh, so just grab one of these. It's uh, you know uh, at your local uh, market. I mean they're only like 20 something, 30 yeah. bucks. They're great, yeah. Monitor, you can use the TV. <laughs> you can use. I mean, you, if you don't have a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse laying around. You know, I mean, you don't need a, a gaming keyboard. It's nice to have the full in key rollover, but most people will be able to get by on a $12 rubber dome from Rubber Dome World down the street. Everyone has a Rubber Dome World down yeah, the street. I've got two. Two Rubber Dome Worlds. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, uh, if you guys want to win this thing, here's what yeah, you have to do. You have to, there'll be a forum post listed right in the top of the description. You have to go to the forum, and uh, what you're going to need to do is post a video showing why you need this computer. As I, I mean, i got to be honest with you guys. I don't want to give this to somebody who's got two Ferraris and 17, you know, computers in their house. I, I, I don't, I want to give this to someone who really, yeah, really needs it. Yeah. So go online and uh, talk to us about like what you, what you would do with it too. That's also important. And we'll, we'll go through and in the forum and see what's getting the most likes and and all that stuff because you can you can like post on the forum if you think one's a good one you can like it don't just get all your friends to like yours or i will come to your house and i will put your toes in a box of oats for weeks see listening to him say that in person is a lot funnier than on camera trust me <laughs> it's really funny <laughs> it's really funny when it happens to you at home don't let it happen don't let it happen all right we'll see you guys uh Good luck winning this thing. Let us know what you think in the comments. And also, please say thanks to Tyler, because he's donating this, because you guys have been really good, I mean, to him. I mean, a lot, yeah. of, a lot of the customers showing up, so we're saying... Yeah, you take, take care of us, we take care of you. So. so this is Tyler giving back to the community, and don't you forget that. All right, see you guys in the comments. Coffee makes me coffee... -y.